This question is about differentiation and finding the equation of a tangent to a curve. Let's start with part A. It tells us here is our curve and it asks us to find the derivative, find dy by dx. Now you should notice that we have a function divided by another function. Here is our u, here is our v. We are going to use the quotient rule. So let's state our u. Our u is equal to 3 plus sine of 2x. And our v is equal to 2 plus the cosine of 2x. Let's differentiate e each of these for easy marks uh, out of our 4. The differential of 3 is 0. The differential of sine of 2x is 2 cos of 2x. Differentiate the inside, 2. Differentiate sine cos and evaluate it at 2x. V dash, therefore, similarly, the differential of 2x is 2, the differential of, of cosine is negative sine, and you evaluate it at 2x. So this would actually be to negative 2 sine of 2x. Now, the examiner always says, quote the rule you're using before you use it. So the quotient rule is actually in the formula booklet. It's vu dash, subtract uv dash over v squared. Make sure you quote it. It will mean you're way less likely to get it wrong. So, vu dash, this multiplied by this, would be 2 plus cos of 2x. All of that multiplied by 2 cos 2x. And then subtract. And then uv dash, which would be this multiplied by this. So, it would be uh, this times this, but I'm going to write this first here. Um, negative 2 sine 2x multiplied by this here would be a plus. 2 sine of 2x, and we're going to multiply the, all of that by 3 plus sine of 2x. Okay, and all of this, don't forget at that stage that all of this then must be divided by v squared, which would be 2 plus the cosine of 2x, all of that squared. Okay, so it's quite a, a large formula here. Let's just multiply this out. This multiplied by this would give me 4 cos of 2x. This multiplied by this would give me 2 cos squared of 2x. Okay, and then we multiply this. This multiplied by this would give me 6 sine of 2x. And this multiplied by this would give me 2 sine squared of 2x. And then all divided by, as before, um, 2 plus cos 2x all squared, 2 plus cos 2x all squared. Now notice at this stage, 2 cos squared 2x plus 2 sine squared 2x would be equal to 2. So you should state that, you should state that 2 cos squared 2x plus 2 sine squared 2x must be equal to 2. Okay, so don't just write down the, the rule here. R don't write down what you're looking for. Write down that as part of your method marks. So you have your 6 sine 2x plus your 4 cos of 2x plus the 2, all divided by 2 plus cos of 2x all of that squared, and you've got yourself the four marks you're looking for. Part B says, find an equation of the tangent to the curve at the point where x is pi by 2. Write your answer in this form, where a and b are exact constants. Okay, when you're writing an equation of a straight line, you're going to use y subtract y1 is m x subtract x1, right? Where x1, y1 is on the line. Okay, now we know, firstly, let's find a, a point on this line. When x is pi by 2, y is the answer you get when you substitute in pi by 2 in here. So it would be 3 plus sine of pi over 2 plus cosine of pi. Now sine of pi is 0 and cosine of pi is negative 1, so this would simply give you the answer 3. Okay? So we know a point on the line x1, y1 is pi by 2 and 3. So that gets us at least 
uh, one or two of the easy marks. That gets us two of the marks going there. Now, what is the gradient uh, at the point x is equal to pi by 2? Well, all you have to do is substitute pi by 2 into this here. So if you substitute pi by 2 into this here, you would get yourself, just working through it in the calculator, you would get negative 2. Therefore, your m is equal to negative 2. So using the equation of, of, of a straight line, we will be dealing with y subtract 3 is equal to negative 2 x subtract pi by 2. Okay, let's, let's multiply this out. y subtract 3 is negative 2x plus pi. And therefore, adding 3 to both sides, y is equal to negative 2x uh, and then plus pi, pi plus 3. Okay, the pi plus 3 is your number b and negative 2 is your number a and you're done.